Hello, it's Nicole from the Tempe Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly origami bookmark. Like this. Okay, so to make one of these beautiful butterfly origami bookmarks, you're going to need a piece of paper. I have just a square sheet of origami. If you have um, computer paper, that works as well. You can color in both sides, make it pretty. We're going to actually fold about a third of this. We need a rectangular shape rather than a square. So I'm going to fold up a third and cut off this excess. And now we're going to fold this in half. So fold it down like this. Okay, once we've got it folded in half, we're gonna fold it this way as well, bookwise. Unfold the second fold so that we've got this shape again. And then we're going to stick our finger in this little crease area and bring this down and over. Now you see this crease line here? You want that to line up with this line. Fold that down and then fold this over and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, stick your finger in here, fold it over, make sure your crease line lines up with this line, fold everything down. And then fold that back over. Now we're going to lift it up, stick our fingers in here, and sort of rotate and fold down so that we've got these two sides here. All right, now we're going to fold up these little flaps on both sides. So I'm just gonna take one Fold it up into a little triangle shape. Now there's no rule on how to fold it, how big or small to make that triangle. You just wanna make sure that they're equal on both sides. So when I fold this one up, I want to try to get it fairly close. You're probably not gonna get perfect, or at least I don't but um, as close as possible works. And then try to get that crease line real nice and crisp. It'll be important for our next step. So let's flip that back up, unfold these two little triangles, and now we're going to fold the triangle in that we created. So along that crease line, so kind of stick your finger in and start working it down. And this is why um, a good crease line is important so that the paper sort of remembers that shape and falls back into it, even though it's opposite direction. It doesn't have to be super perfect. All right, so now we'll do the other side as well. Okay, now that we've got those done, we're going to take one side and fold it down like that. 
This is another one where you want the two sides, there's no real rule, but you want the two sides to be fairly close to each other. So fold that one down as well. And there we go, an origami butterfly. So just grab my book. The book pages are going to just fall into this little um, pocket that you've made here. If you just stick it in like that, and there you go, a nice bookmark.